what's going on in L.A. now? As you know, L.A. has a new mayor. Her name is Mayor Karen Bass. She replaced Eric Garcetti, who was a far left progressive who was bowing in front of BLM activists at the height of COVID. You could go out and protest, but you couldn't go to work, literally on his knees in front of these people. Anyway, they brought in another far left whack job, Mayor Karen Bass, and listen to how she's going to be dealing with homelessness. This is from about three months ago. Are you still going to allow LAPD and sanitation officers to do these sweeps of encampments? No, we, these are not sweeps at all. This is getting people to move on their own, but then after the person leaves, sanitation is absolutely going to have to be there. No question about it. But this is not coercing people. This is not ticketing people or incarcerating people. This is moving people from tents to hotels or motels. You know, it's funny, guys. When I've been to hotels, and I've been to a couple in my life, motels, Motel 6, I've been to Best Westerns, I've stayed at some nicer places every now and again. I generally have to pay to be uh, to go to a hotel. Is that f is that how you, yeah for everybody yeah that uh, you see what they're doing. First off, she's saying no, we're not going to move these people. Of course, they're moving these people. These ten cities come up all over L.A. In many cases, they don't move them, and then it, and then it becomes drug infested and and it's medically not safe and infectious and all that stuff, right? And it's a blight on the neighborhood, and then houses pr house prices go down. All of that stuff, obviously. Uh, but they will obviously move these people. But then what do they do? This is the same exact thing that Gavin Newsom, lizard person Gavin Newsom, was saying he was going to do in San Francisco about 15 years ago when he was the mayor. We will take these people because it's a housing problem. It's not a uh, mental health problem or a drug problem or anything else. It's just a housing problem. So we will take these people and we will put them in hotels and motels. I really just want you to think, like joking aside for just a second, like if you were to picture just like the average homeless person of San Francisco and L.A., you know, right? So you have to picture someone who is on drugs, who is mentally not well, who's probably screaming and fighting with people and all. We're going to put them in the Ritz-Carlton. We'll put them on the uh, penthouse floor next to Richard Gere and that chick. Like, it's so, that was a Beverly Wilshire, for those of you paying attention, pretty woman. Um, it's so nuts. It's so completely ridiculous, but it seems right. This is what progressives are really good at. Oh, we will put, we care about homeless people, so we will put them in hotels and motels, and then we'll give them a little card, and they can get room service, and blah, blah, blah. Does that help anyone get off the drugs? Does it help anyone with their mental health? Does it actually create a situation where these people will not live in those hotels or motels forever? Does it get anyone off the city door, or does it just kick the can down the road? So that is the model that California has chosen. Thank you